the number is 28, x plus 2, and 112 form a GP or geometric progression. What is the 10th term? So ito tayo yung geometric progression natin. 28, x plus 2, at 112. So hahanapin natin yung 10th term niya or G10. So para malaman natin yung G10 natin, gagamitin lang natin yung formula na GN is equal to G1 times R raised to N minus 1. So dito meron tayong G1 which is yung 28. Meron din tayong N which is yung 10. So kailangan muna natin isolve yung R bago natin masolve yung GN or G10. So para masolve natin yung R, gagamitin natin yung series natin. So dito, since yung first term, kailangan mo multiply ng R bago maging second term. At the same din dito, yung second term, kailangan mo multiply ng R para maging third term. So ilang beses mo i-multiply ng R yung 28 para maging 112? Dalawang beses. So ibig sabihin, 28 times R squared is equal to 112. So hindi na natin kailangan yung X dito. Hindi na natin kailangan isolve yan. Ang kailangan lang natin ay yung R. So, yung r squared natin or yung r natin is equal to square root of 112 divided by 28. So, 112 divided by 28 raised to 0.5. So, yung r natin is equal to 2. So, since alam na natin yung r, Masasolve na natin yung G10. So yung G10 natin is equal to yung G1 natin which is yung 28 times yung R natin which is 2 raised to N minus 1. Yung N natin ay 10 minus 1 is 9. So 28 times 2 raised to 9. 14, 3, 3, 6. At based sa choices, letter A ang tamang sagot. 14336 Number 238 The sum of the first 10 terms of a geometric progression 2, 4, 8, and so on is blank. So, hahanapin natin yung sum of geometric progression dito. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na Sn is equal to G1 times 1 minus R raised to N divided by 1 minus R or S10 is equal to yung G1 natin or yung first term which is 2 times the quantity 1 minus R ano ba yung common ratio natin? so magdi-divide lang tayo na magkasunod na term so 4 divided by 2 ay 2 raised to N yung N natin ay 10 or 10 terms divided by 1 minus 2 so 1 minus 2 raised to 10 divided by negative 1 times 2 so ang sagot dito ay 2046 which is letter B so letter B ang tamang sagot 2046 Number 239, if the first term of a geometric progression is 9 and the common ratio is negative 2 thirds, find the fifth term. So sa problem na to, gagamitin lang natin yung nth term or gn is equal to g1 times r raised to n minus 1. So ito yung nth term natin. So yung gn natin is yung fifth term, so g5 is equal to yung G1 natin, yung first term daw is 9. Tapos yung common ratio natin ay negative 2 thirds. At yung N natin ay 5. 5 minus 1. So, so 9 times negative 2 thirds raised to 4. 16 over 9. So sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 240, the 7th term is 56 and the 12th term is negative 1792 
of a geometric progression, find the common ratio in the first term. Assume the ratios are equal. So, assume the ratios are equal. Actually, hindi mo kailangan i-assume na equal yung ratios. Kasi kapag geometric progression, equal dapat yung mga ratios nila. Kasi nga geometric progression, meron silang common ratio. So, dito given tayo ng 7th term, or G7, is equal to 56. And the 12th term, so G12 is equal to negative 1792. Find the common ratio in the first term. So, hanapin natin yung common ratio or R at yung first term or G1. So, para malaman natin yung R, i-compare lang natin yung G7 tsaka yung G12. So, ilang terms yung pagitan nila? So, 12 minus 7, 5 terms. Ibig sabihin yung G7 mo o yung 56, kailangan mo i-multiply ng R raised to 5 para maging G12 or negative 1792. So, masasolve natin yung R dito. So, yung R natin is equal to yung fifth root ng negative 1792 divided by 56. So, yung R natin, negative 1792 divided by 56. So, para makuha natin yung fifth root niya, i-raise lang natin ng 1 fifth. So, ang common ratio natin ay negative 2. negative 2. Para masolve naman natin yung G1, gagamitin lang natin yung formula na Gn is equal to G1 R raised to n minus 1. So, gumamit lang tayo ng kahit aling term dito. So, sabihin na natin yung G7 para mas maliit. So, yung G7 natin or 56 is equal to yung G1 times yung common ratio natin na negative 2 raised to n minus 1. So, yung, since G7 to, yung n natin ay 7. So, 7 minus 1 ay 6. So, masasolve natin yung G1. Negative 2 raised to 6. So, by the way, huwag nyo palang kakalimutan yung parenthesis pag magre-raise kayo ng negative number. Kasi iba yung magiging sagot ng calculator natin. So, ito yung sagot niya ay positive 64. Kaya lang pag walang parenthesis yan, negative 2 raised to 6 negative 64 which is mali kasi even number yung exponent natin kaya dapat magiging positive to so kapag magre-raise kayo ng negative number huwag nyo kakalimutan yung parenthesis so 64 yan so yung 56 i-divide natin ng 64 para makuha natin yung G1 so 56 divided by 64 which is 7 over 8 So, yung sagot natin ay negative 2 at 7 over 8. So, dun sa choices, negative 2 at 7 over 8 ay letter D. Number 241. A person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, and so on. How many ancestors during the 15 generations preceding his own? Assuming no duplication. So dito makakabuo tayo ng geometric progression Kasi every generation upward No multiply ng 2 Kasi nga bawat tao Meron dalawang parents So yung person meron siyang dalawang parents Yung mga parents naman niya Meron ding tig dalawang parents So merong apat So no multiply lang siya ng 2 So 2, 4, 8 and so on So yung common ratio natin is equal to 2 Yung first term natin Is also equal to 2 at yung n natin is equal to 15 kasi 15 generations so hindi nakasama yung person kasi 15 generations preceding his own so magsistart tayo dun sa parents niya so ito yung first term natin so hinahanap natin dito how many ancestors in total so kailangan natin ng sn or yung sum of geometric progression which is equal to g1 times the quantity 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r. So yung Sn natin or S15 is equal to yung G1 2 times 1 minus 2 raised to n which is 15 divided by 1 minus 2. 1 minus 
raised to 15 divided by negative 1 times 2. So, meron tayong 65,534. So, letter B ang tamang sagot.